Shalom, Wabarak, God, Miss Pot, God, peace and blessings, family. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how going to the clubs, strip clubs as an Israelite is a sin, and the most I don't want to doing that kind of stuff. Now, a lot of y'all looked at the title of this video and like, why is he talking about this? This should be obvious. You know, we should already know this, but I wouldn't have to make the video if I hadn't seen, you know, Israelites make this mistake. And if I've seen a few Israelites make this mistake, maybe a lot of Israelites just don't know that it's a sin. It's a sin. And the Most High doesn't want us doing this and partaking in these particular activities. Now, Torah only Israelites in particular need guidance, a lot of guidance, okay? Uh, we need more teachers who teach the law. And, you know, in my videos, I'll talk about how the New Testament is fake. All this other stuff. I talk about how our land is in the Americas. But I'm going to start making more videos about the law because it's very important. And it and Torah on the Israelites, the reason we don't teach about the law that much is because we, you know, at one point we were Christian Israelites. And we learned the law from certain camps and all the other stuff. And we feel like we already know that stuff so that we don't have to teach it. But guess what? Not everybody knows this stuff. There's some people who just came to the truth and they they just came to the truth and they, you know, jumped right into Torah only. And all their teachers are only talking about the land and only talking about the New Testament. So now we got to start talking about the law a lot. And another thing we got to start talking about is separation. Separation from Babylon, separation from this captivity, because we're not trying to stay here too long. We're not trying to stay here too long. We're trying to get up and leave. We're going to Goshen soon. Like right now, I'm saving up money for Goshen. I'm buying land in Arizona, baby. The original Goshen. The real Goshen. Okay? And I'm not even the only Israelite. Shout out to Raisa, man. Shout out to Raisa Israel on Instagram. She started this. Okay? She bought land, her and her husband in Arizona. They separated from Babylon. All right. And I'm going out there and cheers. Shout out to y'all only cheers. All right. On Instagram. We getting this done. We set we make we saving up cash. We buying land over there in Arizona. It's off grid. We don't have to pay taxes. We don't have to pay bills. We don't have to pay rent. We don't have to pay none of that. We just living off the land, baby. Once we buy that land, that's the only expense. Okay? And we just going to keep the most highest commandments. We all gathering out there. If you want information on the land, if you want to come out with us, if you want to save up some money for us, shoot me an email, shoot me a text message. I'll put all that information in my bio. But let's jump right into the video. Let's talk about these clubs. So the first scripture I'm going to use is the natural order of what a man should do. Genesis 2 and 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall become one flesh. It says he shall cleave unto his wife. Doesn't say he shall cleave unto a strip club. Doesn't say he shall cleave unto a stripper. Okay. It, it shall come a point in man's life where he looks for a wife, not a stripper, a wife. Leviticus 19 and 29. Do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. Now, a whore does not always have to do with physical sex. A prostitute does not always have to do with physical sex. It could be any type of sexual activity and energy exchange, any type of fornication. Strippers are not excluded. Okay, when you go in a strip club and you uh, look at the woman showing their bodies off and doing lap dances and all the other stuff, that is sexual sin as well. Okay, that's a form of whoredom. These women should be looking for husbands, 
not playmates in a strip club. If you're supporting them with your money, you're encouraging them to keep doing what they're doing. It says, lest the land fall to hold them and the land become full of wickedness. Because when people begin doing this, it'll lead to other things. It'll make the land full of wickedness. And this is a this is already what happened to America, this country, this land is full of wickedness. Because we've allowed certain things and and it blows out of proportion over time. Deuteronomy twenty three and seventeen there shall be no whore. Of the daughter of Israel, nor a sodomite of the son of Israel. Don't let your daughter give her body up for money. It doesn't matter if she's, she's getting naked dancing for it, or if she's a prostitute, or lap dancing, or any of that stuff in a club. It's all going to stir on wickedness in the nation. Proverbs 23 and 27, for a whore is a deep ditch. A deep ditch is a trap, okay? A strange woman is a narrow pit. Because a lot of these strippers, not even Israel, not a lot of these strippers, not even Israelites. They're foreign nations. You got Asians and white and uh, all these other races. A woman at these strip clubs, narrow pit. It can lead on to other things. And these women have no boundaries. They don't have any spiritual boundaries. If they're willing to get up on a stage naked and show their body off, they're willing to have sex with any man they please. She also lieth in wait as for a prey and increaseth the transgressors among men. Hmm. It, it gets deeper. Ezekiel 16 and 15, but thou didst trust in thine own beauty. This is talking about the Israelite woman and playedest the harlot because of thy renown, because of thy famous ones. OK, because of women want to be somebody right because of thy renown. Renown means famous, means people who everybody know. OK. You got people like Meg the Stallion and Cardi B and all this other stuff making it, it look cool for Israelite women to degrade themselves for money in any form or fashion. And pours out thy fornications on everyone that pass by. His it was, and thy garments thou didst take. And deckest thy high places with diverse colors, and platest the harlot thereupon. The like thing shall not come, neither shall it be so. Let's look at a modern a modern trend. Let's look at a more forward translation. Here's another translation. It says, But you put faith, but you put your faith in the fact that you were beautiful, acting like a loose woman. Because you are widely talked of, offering your cheap love to everyone that went by, whoever it might be. And you took your robes and made high places for yourselves, ornamented with every color, acting like the loose woman on them, with, without shame or fear. Acting like the loose woman on them without shame or fear. What is a high place? A high place is a building made for worship. Okay. It says these women made them for themselves. So they were the center of worship. People were giving gifts to them. People were giving gifts to them, offerings to them. In a place of worship, especially of false gods, people go in and give gifts to false gods and offerings to false gods. And in these buildings that these women made for themselves during the time of Ezekiel, people gave gifts to the women. Okay, pay attention. People gave gifts to the woman. Okay, and pretty much worship the woman. 
because these women were the center of attention. They were acting like a loose woman on them. It says without shame or fear because it would be a natural instinct for a woman to be ashamed to be ashamed to, of being naked in front of hundreds of people, right? See, we're talking about the buildings that these women built for themselves so they can be the center of attention. They can be the center of worship. People can give gifts to them so they can behave like the loose women so they can have no shame or fear. They can behave like whores in this in these buildings during the time of Ezekiel. It says, in, in that thou buildest thine intimate place in the head of every way and makest thine high place in every street and hast not been as a harlot in that thou scornest higher. But verse 32 but as a wife committed adultery, which take strangers instead of her husband. Hmm. This is this is what this is what the Israelite, the common Israelite doesn't understand. The common Israelite doesn't understand that sex is a big deal. This is what we have to teach our children as Israelites. The first person who you make a actual relationship covenant bond with sexually in your life is actually your husband or your wife. Torah says that if a man goes into a woman, that woman is his wife. Look at it. Exodus 16 and 22. The first man... A woman has sex with willingly is her husband. Oh, we're not ready to talk about that, are we? So if a woman has multiple bodies, multiple willing bodies, she's cheated on her husband already. Let me tell you how. If a woman had sex with, with one man at the age of 16, 13, 14, whatever, that's all. She already married. Because she doesn't understand the actual concept of marriage. Because our parents are not teaching us that. Because our parents don't even know it themselves. Okay? She's already married. Now when she meets a new person, she's still married to that person. Because 110 out of 10 chance, that first man she was with or that first boy she was with didn't write a bill of divorcement. Before breaking up with her. He probably just upped and left. Okay. So. Then when she meets a new dude. And has sex with him. She's still married to the first dude. And now she committing adultery. And she having bodies on top of bodies on top of bodies. No bill of divorcement made. No bill of divorcement made. What's going on here? You're still married to the first dude. And you had what? Six other dudes after that. Hmm. And nine times out of ten, these strippers in these strip clubs are not virgins. Okay? They're not innocent. They they have way more than one body. And it, it, I'm not bashing women who have way more than one body. Not at all. But I may I'm telling you guys that it's important to teach your children this stuff. Very important to teach your children this stuff. I'm not bashing women who have more more than one body. Because nine times out of ten, if you're a woman watching this, you, you probably have more than one body because you weren't taught this as a child. But look, they give gifts to all whores. But thou givest gifts to all thy lovers and hires them that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. Okay, so we're talking about these high places that these women made for themselves, okay? These buildings that, that the women were in, they were a center of attention. People were giving them money. They were giving them gifts. They gave gifts to all the whores. This was happening during the time of Ezekiel. Let's look at what these gifts are. Boom. 
It says, in the sense of freely flinging money. The same stuff that was happening during the time of Ezekiel is happening now. Men, when they grow up, they should be looking for wives, not play buddies in the strip club. That's the righteous way. Separate yourself from Babylon. Separate yourself from all kinds of wickedness that goes on. These strip clubs are just high places. These women are looked at as gods. You're giving your money to them for no reason. You're throwing your money at them for no reason. Other, not, no reason other than to worship them. You're not literally getting on your hands and knees to pray to them. But you are literally worshiping, worshiping these women. You don't even know it. Isaiah chapter 3 and 12, as for my people, we're talking about Israel here. Children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. What is that? Women rule over them? It's a psychological thing. Men in Israel... Depend on women so much. It's almost like the women are the rulers of their lives. You can't have fun unless you're giving your money to a stripper in a club. You got to think about that. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. They which lead thee. Because the women that Israel look up to. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, all these quote-unquote women that Israel actually looks up to are whores. If you listen to their music, all they talk about is penetration. All they talk about is sex. All they talk about is multiple affairs. Wake up, my people. That's the whole game. And destroy the way of thy paths. Look at this. Verse 16. Moreover, Yah saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. What does haughty mean? Haughty means the proud, the arrogant, the looking for attention, right? And walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go. Making tinkling with their feet. This scripture just talking about. Let me just revise it so it can be uh, shortened. More easy to understand. Moreover, Yah says. Because the daughters of Zion want and seek attention. Because they seek attention so bad. When, whenever these women are in, this, in these strip clubs. They're seeking attention, man. They're surrounded by hundreds of people. Nude. I mean, of course, they're seeking money. But they need attention to do it. Therefore, y'all will smite with the scab of the crown of the head, the daughters of Zion. And y'all will discover their secret parts. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Instead of a girdle, a rent. Instead of well-set hair, baldness. Instead of a stomach or a girding of sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty. Don't you see this makes the most high angry? For a woman to constantly seek attention. Notice this scripture didn't say nothing about whoredom. It didn't say, moreover, y'all say it because the daughter of, of Zion are whores. It said because they wanted attention. Simply the fact that our women are attention-seeking people. Simply the fact that our women are, are always looking for attention makes the most high angry. That's just what it is. And on top of that, they want to be whores and show their body and get money and dance on men and have sex with a whole lot of men. When you look at the statistics of infidelity and look at the statistics of um, having sex with people that are not your partners, uh, adultery and cheating, you'll notice that black people cheat 
more than any other race of people on this planet. Black people do not stay with one partner because of stuff like this. Because sex is a part of the black man and the black woman's everyday life. Because the people who lead us, that's all they talk about. It's a lot of reasons. <laughs> it's a lot of reasons. 90% of all the music we listen to talks about sex. Think about that. Think about that. We don't understand the concept of the matter. And whose fault is it that Israel has these problems? It's not the woman's fault. It's not the men's fault. It's both. It's the parents, mother and father, because we don't want to raise our children properly. It's Proverbs 29 and 3. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father. So basically King Solomon is saying, whoever loves the wisdom honors, praises Yah, right? But he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. He that keepeth company, company of any form. It doesn't matter if you're uh, around her. It doesn't matter if you're getting a lap dance by her. It doesn't matter if you're physically having sex with her. You're spending your substance. What does that mean? What is the substance? Substance. Riches. Wealth. Money. Okay. You're spending your money. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your money, man. Notice the but between rejoices his father and keepeth company with harlots, showing that they're opposites. If you're keeping your company with harlots, going to the strip club regularly, you know what I'm saying? You don't rejoice your father. You're not really praising the most high because you're not doing his commandments, you know? Prostitution comes in many forms. It's not always some woman standing on a corner of the street at night paying for sex. Okay, Strip clubs is a form of prostitution. It's the, it's the legal form, I should say. 